Hello and welcome to another how to do the web video. Today we're going to learn how to set up a PayPal account. PayPal is a fantastic service that's available in many many countries around the world where you can receive credit card payments from people without having to have a merchant account and pay mega fees. You pay per transaction which is really really great if you're just starting your business. Um, so, uh, and the other great thing, many of you have probably used PayPal or seen PayPal in its different forms. You can create buy now buttons, you can create subscribe buttons, you can, um, you can have, um, people uh, buy, like paying for classes by clicking on links, um, all those sorts of things and it's very, very easy to use if you are willing to know a few basics. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to sign up. So uh, to find PayPal, it's at paypal.com um, and there is, uh, this This is the page that, or something similar, will show up and up here in the top left, top right hand corner um, is a sign up button. So if you go ahead and click on that sign up button, it will take you in and it it is one of those follow along with the prompts options. Now um, I'm based in New Zealand so I would choose New Zealand but there are all sorts of different countries in there so click choose your country or region. Again choose your language. They only have the options of English, Spanish, French and Chinese in this 10 seconds. What would it take for that to grow? So um, now Different people use this for different things um, and there are different different ways of using it. There are different levels of necessity um, and now I'm not going to go into the details but you can read more about that um, if you choose to. If you just have a basic one that you've set up from paying somebody online you can upgrade that, that's no problem at all. I'm going to choose the Premier for individuals who buy and sell online. So we're going to go through for that. Um, and it's literally just fill in the blanks. Okay, so as you can see here, I've filled out the form. Um, and it is really just who are you and where do you live and what's your phone number and stuff like that. Um, there's a user agreement. Go ahead and read that. And um, and then if you agree with it, click on the agree and create account. So then uh, it will tell you if you've missed some information. What's it telling me that I've missed? Um, Ah, it's telling me that I've not put in a valid number. I tried to make it an internationally recognised number, but it wants to have the New Zealand version of it. It's fine. And then it's going to check that you're a real person by showing you one of these screens. D K F P M H is what it says in there. So I type that in and click OK. Click Continue. That's just checking you're not some robot coming in and trying to, to do that. Now, um, to get started, you need to confirm your email. What they've done is they've sent an email address, email to my, um, my Gmail that I sent, setting it up as. And, um, now you don't have to set up a credit card at this point. That is, really is just a, um, something that you can skip through and so at some stage soon I'm going to receive a email coming into my Gmail account and um, and I will be able to click on that link. 
Okay, so now we've got that um, welcome to pay PayPal email come through, as you can see here. Uh, so go ahead and click on that. It can take, you know, 15 minutes for that to come through or longer, depending on how busy they are and how what sort of email service you're using. Um, so if you scroll down in this PayPal email, it'll it's got there. Thanks for joining. Add your credit card. Um, just confirming the information there. Now this is your confirmation code here um, that you will need to use. Uh, okay, so over here you have your confirm email address over on the right hand side. Uh, so if you click on the confirm email address and it will say go to your email, click the confirm e um, email button. Now, uh, whoops, where am I? Go back in. Go back to that email there. Um, it may be, it doesn't seem to have a confirm email button. Okay, so let's check that the images are all displaying. No, nope, it doesn't have one. So what we'll do is we'll, in the, click here if the button does not appear in the email. So, and then it's going to ask you to enter in the code. See this code here, confirmation code. Now the best thing to do for any code, any password that you get sent, is to copy and paste it. That way it's exactly as they've sent it to you, and you're not going to be typing multiple times. So how do, how do you copy and paste? I know some people ask that question. So if you click at the beginning and hold your finger down on the right mouse button, uh, sorry, left mouse button if you're on a PC, um, and then just move the mouse across till you get to the end and the whole thing is highlighted, then release your finger. So if you had your finger down on the left mouse button or on the mouse button on a Mac um, for that whole time. Now on a PC, you're going to go control, which is the CTRL, and it's usually the bottom left hand button on your keyboard. And on a Mac, you're going to use the command, which is the one with the the symbol that's got like the four circles in the corners joined together. I can't think of a better way of describing that, sorry. So you're going to have hold down either control or command, which if you're on a PC or a Mac, and then C. C for copy. So it doesn't show anything on the screen that you've done anything. But then if we go back into the PayPal, click into that box, and then control or command V which is your paste button, it pops that thing that you had highlighted in. Okay, so control C or command C to copy and control or command V, V for vector, victory, um, for pasting. So there's the code and uh, click confirm. Now that you've successfully confirmed your email address, please take a moment to answer two security questions. These questions, are what they are is they are just, if you forget your password, you need to be able to answer these questions to be able to reset your password. So, um, I'm just going to pop in a couple there. Uh, and away we go. Submit those. And you're in. Now, as I haven't linked a card, it's going to probably keep prompting me until I get around to it, but I'm not choosing to do that in, for this account. Okay, so here we are at the main screen. This, when you log in in the future, this is the main screen that you will come to. And any transactions that have happened in the last seven days will show down in this box at the bottom. And your balances will show here. It's automatically set New Zealand dollars as my primary currency. 
and whichever country or region that you selected in your setup, it will do that for you there. And it will, this available balance in New Zealand dollars gives you roughly the total balance if it converted all the money and all the different currencies that you've got in your account into New Zealand dollars or whatever your currency is. So there you go, you've now set up your PayPal account. Um, in future videos we will cover how to set up PayPal buttons, um, how to send money, how to send invoices, because you can use PayPal to send invoices, and also how to um, withdraw the money into your account, because that's one of those great things too. So um, thank you for joining me here on how to do the web. And uh, once again, if you are grateful for these videos, please click on the ads uh, or go to my website www.howtodotheweb.com and there will be a PayPal donate button which will allow you to donate however much you choose um, and how much you feel you'd like to contribute for your gratitude. Awesome, thank you so much and I look forward to having you join me on future episodes.